Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to the continuing adventures of my Nom Nomulus dragon, Nom Nomulus, uh, the Draconian Monk, or Doctor Mu, or Mo, or whatever. Uh, last we left off, he had managed to get dragon form castable, but only at like seventy percent fails. So, totally needs to train that some more. Uh, unarmed combat skill, dodging, and fighting are all on. I'm probably gonna mess with these some more later, but for now we'll leave it at that. But this is this is fine. This is fine. Um, quick glance at my inventory for those of you who care. Okay, you have seen it. Uh, I'm gonna wield this axe real quick, or ID this axe real quick, just to see what it is that I've been given. Chopping with poly resistance. Hmm. I'm gonna hang on to it, actually, just in case I ever find myself retreating from a fire and or cold attack, uh, or, and it would be helpful to have quickly to quickly put on some defenses. I'm gonna take a moment now, pause, and take a look at the, uh... You are short of breath, you're flying, alive, contaminated, flying speed is average, attack speed is fast, resistant, and stealthy. I'm gonna take a moment to look at uh, my stats and see how they change when I leave dragon form. So 23, 9, 24, 14, 19. Uh, I gain 10 EV and I lose uh, about 8 AC. Uh, I lose almost 10 strength. Um, and of course I lose teeth and claws, which are a massive boost to my damage. So overall, Dragon Form is definitely a plus. Oh, and of course I lose like 50% max HP. I go from 166 to 111. Righto. Uh, next order of business, there was an area that I, I got to once and wasn't safe in which I would like to try to revisit and clear with some more safety, so let's go and clear that area out now. You five, come with me. If you want to live, don't come with me. Clearly you don't want to live. And now, just for the fun of it, uh, dragon form, which I want to make sure is on a letter that I don't accidentally press, E is fine. Actually, I'm still engorged, despite having switched. That's kind of amazing. And I'm just ripping everything apart right now with total impunity. Um, I'm at half health. So I guess Dragon Form is not um, super powerful, but it is powerful. And we're totally going to breathe a uh, weapon that far. In fact, the Breath Weapon seems to have done more to damage my hunger status than casting this did. Though that probably isn't true, it's probably just a artifact of timing and such. Um, I'm actually getting very close to dangerous territory here, in terms of how little health I have. I'm feeling a little bit too much bravado to back off, though, so instead I'm going to keep pushing forward, but bear in mind this is not how a good player would play. This is totally me just executing false bravado. Okay, I have changed back to ordinary form. Uh, I'm very weak. I'm going to die if I get hit again, so let's not get die. Let's just get out of here. Oh my god, I got hit again. I'm so lucky I didn't die. I'm going to lose a lot of rotting corpses, that um, a lot of corpses to rot that I otherwise might have sacrificed if I hadn't gotten so hubris-filled and had been more systematic in my approach. That's fine. Uh, that was a good example of just how much a dragon can do, and that's kind of what I was after, so yay! Okay, that's one, that's two, and again, um, a big part of my power comes from the fact that I am training unarmed combat, and uh, maybe later this video we can look up the formula of unarmed combat together, so that y'all see just what it would be, yep, sure enough, all those corpses that I left, uh, but I had to run away from rather than sacrificing, they're all rotten now, so that's about, what? 12 corpses worth of piety that I'm not going to be getting. <sighs> Hubris has its cost. Alright, let's get out of here, and... There's seriously no other door? Well, I haven't finished exploring this area, that's why. Uh -huh. Sacrifice, sacrifice... 
I wonder how it is that I'm so stealthy, actually. Uh, I have a fairly decent stealth capacity, apparently, despite the fact that I'm a friggin' dragon. I don't know, when I think stealthy creatures, dragons seldom come to mind. But yeah, I'm apparently fairly stealthy. Probably because I'm not wearing any armor of any kind, so it just artificially there's nothing to lower my my uh, my stealthiness that much. I don't know. I'm making shit up now. Uh, was that a corpse actually that I just walked past? It was. Let's eat that one. Gourmand is great. It uh, makes my the brown chunks significantly less likely to cause nausea. Totally gonna grab Blink Scroll, like, without even thinking twice. Vorpal Fists are gonna be meaningless to me. Unholy Creation I don't much care about. Uh, magic Mapping might be useful. Amnesia I can always come back and buy if necessary. ID Scrolls are cheap and you always want one extra, so let's get one extra. Okay. This floor is clear. Okay, was there a second staircase up now? There is. Let's try that one. Hey, it was clear just ten seconds ago, and then the orcs came. Hooray! Pay attention to me. Alright, up we go. Up. Oh, Almost wasn't worth finding an alternate exit just to find you two. Orcish mines are cleared. Uh, uh, next stop, let's go back to the lair and uh, just finish up our business there. What is the code for blade hand? Let's see. Yeah, my Mephitic Cloud spell, that's that's the slot I wanted it in. Let's go ahead and use that real quick to finish these guys off. Lair of Beasts, we've already cleared one floor. Uh, let's head down further, second floor, third floor, I believe is where we cleared, so... Uh, I don't think we've fought a snake yet, so we'll see how that goes. The Black Mamba dies in seconds. Perfect. Instant Knockout. Uh, for the invisible lady. That's what I like to see. I could have used Dispelling Ray against her when she went invisible, but again, you can clearly see it wasn't necessary. She died too fast. Oh my god, Yahtzee. Generally getting four in one line I consider good. So, or three in one line I consider good. So four in one line is above average. Like, way above average. I don't need a second ring of life protection. In fact, I do want... Do I have spare remove curses? I only have three. I'll hang on to them. Should have bought some extras. Next time I get a remove curse, I'm just gonna use it right away though. Scroll of fear, crude quarter staff. That's actually a good point. Are there any staves that I've ignored because I didn't think I wanted them? I just remember the staff of hunger as a staff, and uh, if I could get hungerless dragon form, that'd be great. No, that's not it at all. I'll find it eventually. This is the floor. Speed of bushes. One nice thing about being a melee specialist as opposed to a mage specialist is how easy it is in terms of time actually spent pressing keys, not in terms of actual game difficulty, to, uh... Ooh. Unidied scroll. It might be a recharge, so I will try to recharge hasting. It was, and it did, so yay. Um, yeah, in, in terms of being a... It just in terms of the time spent is how easy it is to take out bushes that are sitting on top of potentially useful wealth. Okay, I keep hitting ZX to activate my transformation into blade hands, and it keeps not going, so I should probably switch it up. Uh, oh, whoops, that was a typo. Uh, blade hands can go under X. A ZX is usually my lich form transformation, so blade hands, I'm probably mentally thinking of it as the same thing. Empowering stance, as it were. No, you idiot, you're supposed to breathe at this guy. Hurl javelins at the retreating enemy, please. And it misses. Fine. We'll take out every, every other left motherfucker in here. And of course, I still can't resist poison in any way, so there's that. Of course, neither can this guy, so we're gonna go with poison kiting for the elephant slug. Okay, that should do it. Yep. Test read. No idea what that last one was. Definitely pick up the extra identify. Ooh, what's this new wand? Digging, huh? 
Okay, I do like keeping my dig ones identified. Actually, let's just go ahead and ID all this stuff. Uh, drop the scroll of enchant armor, because I got nothing worth enchanting yet. Uh, identify the steel ring. Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me, man. That's awesome. It's just amazingly awesome, actually. Okay, so we're going to drop the... Actually, we're going to drop all the stuff that I know I'm never going to use. So the Whip of Flaming can go. This Executioner's Axe. It's potentially useful, even though I know in my heart of hearts I'll never use it. But uh, whatever. We'll hang on to it. We'll hang on to it. I'm going to ditch Polymorph Other and Paralysis. Uh, and two scrolls of Amnesia. And... Am I carrying a lot of food? I am carrying a lot of food. Let's ditch half the ration stock. So three bread, one meat, and a sausage. And also, let's ditch these books. Because at this point, I think I've memorized everything I want from them, yeah? Yeah, except maybe Bolt of Fire at some point might be nice, but whatever. Oh, and uh, this scroll of enchant weapon. Yeah, that should help with my weight problems a little bit. Um, I just picked up something that was making me Yeah, Ring of Dexterity. The reason I'm so conflicted is because 5 Evade is fantastic. But, uh, plus five dexterity is gonna boost my evade instead of my AC a lot, and, hmm, and it's gonna boost my damage. That, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try with it on and see what happens. Let's go blade hands and start scissoring things to death. Plus, it, yeah, so damage boost and evade boost versus just, uh, oh crap, just run, for God's sake, just run. You know what? I'm not going to try the poison kiting this time. I'm just going to beat him up. Just got the patience. Alright, to take out these three is going to be a real pain. So I'm just going on to, to, to leave him be for Are you serious? This guy still hasn't seen me. I've been chasing him this far and he didn't see me. Maybe purple dragons get stealth or something as a bonus. I don't know. Blade hands and start really cutting into these guys. Uh, you know what? To take out the elephants, we're gonna go dragon form. Am I wearing my fancy rank? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. Dragon form. Dragon form. Dragon form. Okay. I managed to become contaminated, and I didn't actually pull it off. Uh, one more attempt. Dragon form. That was blade hands, and it's a good thing, too, because if I had tried dragon form again, it probably would have failed. And as are all I really needed. Um... I don't have a scroll of vulnerability or something I can do to protect myself from the possibility of mutation, so I'm just going to risk it. Not that I really have a choice. Okay, looks like I got away with mutation without being mutated. Or, contamination without being mutated. Moral of the story, if you try to cast a level 7 spell uh, at 70% fail in an active combat situation, you're really setting yourself up pretty badly. That one's pretty weak. Nope. We're running. Okay, you know what? Fuck these guys. They're guarding an area I don't even need to go to. I don't want to deal with them. We're gonna go the long way. Okay, Quokas must be blind, because I keep chasing them, and they don't notice me. Uh, all these spells are fun, but none of them go with what I'm working with for this character. Ignite Poison, though, I think I might end up picking up, especially if I decide to take a side dip into... Because it's a transmutation, that's why I can do it. And if I take a side dip into a, a poison branch, like Spider Den or Snake Pit or whatever, then it'll be very useful. We're going to switch to the lightning rod real quick, and then evoke the hell out of that. Boom. God, I just love the huge arcs this thing makes. Tsh. 
technically it adds to my hunger status. But all, all hunger means to me is I'm not going to be getting Okuwaru sacrifice piety as F quite as fast for a little while. If I didn't have Gourmand, I wouldn't be quite so gung-ho about these things. Oh, come on, tell me it's recharged. It's not fully recharged, but can potentially get off at least a couple zaps with it. Literally a couple, two. Uh... Okay, you know what? Disarm myself. And then hurl a couple javelins that is retreating for him. I managed to get through that without getting poisoned. Or sick, that was kind of nice. Okay, next floor. Beat up an iguana. Eat its flesh. New ring. I swear to god, I've already ID'd a steel ring this game. Ring of ice. And while we're at it, how much cold is there? Cool, cool, cool. Ditch the ring of ice because I already have multiple means of getting a temporary stack of... R C. Uh, this is a good time to run. Um, and I want to go blade hands here before I start cutting everything apart. Okuwaru gives me yet another weapon, reinforcing my notion that he's just trolling me after all. All right. Oh my god, what is this? This fancy grass. If I didn't know better, I'd say I was... Well, I don't know better, but it looks like feathers like here. I'm also kind of worried about getting surrounded suddenly, so... On my guard. I have teleport and blink. At least two blink scrolls, so... Be okay, it's just... The hell. If I had a fire ability, I'd burn this... Um, by the way, those people who have consistently told me you can use Condor Flame to take out trees, you are correct and I am wrong. Uh, you totally can, and I have, and it's incredibly effective. Um, I had always thought that trees were considered solid objects since you can't do a lot of things on top of them. Maybe in a previous edition they were, I don't know. What I do know is it works and great utility tool, so thanks for the heads up. Condor Flame totally works on trees. There are lots of cast it right on top of them. Alright, I think that leaves just this one area that I can't reach. That makes me suspicious though, so do I have anything fire-wise? No? Okay. Never mind then. Off we go. Suspicious. Not suspicious enough to actually care. Lightning rod. Zap. 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 That's it. Okay. Uh... Unarm, please. Javelin, javelin, javelin. Now we start attacking you. I lost half my javelins by the uh, eel pit earlier, the electric eels, but because I don't have the range to deal with them or the resist electricity, and I don't want to quaff a resist potion to deal with the static threat, I will leave them be for now. Agility the potions are kind of valuable. I'm still wearing the dex ring and not the AC ring. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, he knows I'm here, so I'm going to have only enough time for one zap before he's on to me. Actually, maybe a second one. Javelins as he runs. One of them will catch him. Cool. Alright. Uh, judgment. That's cool. I'm suspicious about this really fancy mini vault garden thing off to the side. It tapers into a point, like visually you can see, and mm, these chambers I'm less a thing about, but this seems almost like there's a guaranteed secret there of some kind. If I, if I do come back with a wand of fire, I'll have to remember that. Okay, distance snort means minotaur's lair. Minotaur's lair means something worth finding, so let's blade hands and take all these guys out real quick. Magic map would be helpful. Minotaur's Lair is directly north of me, but I am at low health, so must pay attention. Uh, let's actually just ID this scroll that I failed to ID by testing before. Curse armor, sure. Uh, let's go ahead and ditch that. I'm surprised it didn't work, actually, considering that I... I guess I didn't get any armor for a very long time this game, didn't I? Oh, crap. This is the one enemy I did not want to face right now. Uh, let's lightning bolt a couple times, disarm, and then 
kill him. Okay, that worked out. In we go, no need to wait. I have more than enough food to drain through, so and I have a wand of digging for if I get stuck for a little while in the shallow rock. Um, oh, tier two rock, awesome. So I'm getting closer already, probably somewhere east of here. I c yeah, let's go around the long way just in case and then double back if necessary. Nope, I'm becoming more and more doubtful of this. Oh, here we go, it's going back up. No, no it's not. It's not, it's just showing me one point. Okay, we were wrong, let's, uh, actually, let's just attempt to straight up dig, uh, north of here. That might save me a very long loop-de-loop -loop around. Yeah, that, that, that seems like it was the right move. It brought me much closer to the core. Deep within tier two. My suspicion is that the Blackstones are southeast of where I am currently. But getting there is going to be difficult, obviously. And by difficult, I mean tedious, not actually difficult. It's just a matter of doing for a long time. There we are, Blackstones. Okay, what's next? Uh, ooh, green. Green's probably the final area. And it's in a spiral shape. Okay, this is it. This is it. Uh, I'm debating whether or not to try to... Yeah, let's use blade hands going in. Just for simplicity's sake. I gained immediately a new wand, a new wand of digging. A uh, steel ring that I don't have identified, making it the third steel ring this game. And here's the stack of other stuff. A couple sta staves of power. I don't want a staff of power. It's useless to me. A new ring is always nice. Um, what else? <sighs> I don't use scimitars. I mean, what's it going to have on it that I would value? Evocable blink is probably the best thing that I could have. And, oh, well, I'd be an idiot not to try it out, just in case. Let's test these wands. Maybe that'll be, make it easy to decide what to leave behind. Oh, I apparently can't use wands when I'm using blade hands. That's that's good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah, ditching a magic dart, no questions asked. It's too weak at this stage of the game. Frost is also kind of weak, but it's elemental, so I'll keep it. Um, read ID, steel ring. Magical power, nope. I'm not going to need MP plus 9 on this character. Oh, hell. It's a distortion weapon. With a vocable blink. Um, let's go upstairs real quick. And go out. Okay. Uh, if I go blade hands, uh, the weapon melts into my, me. It doesn't disappear. See, here's the problem. When you unwield a weapon of distortion, there is a non-zero chance that you go straight into the abyss. Uh, there's like a 20% chance, actually. So if you can't survive the abyss, that could kill you. That said, I'm an unarmed combat specialist. I don't exactly want to be using a distortion weapon or any weapon. This isn't a bad weapon per se, per se it's just a weapon I don't want. Then there's the other side of this, which is that apparently when I use blade hands or dragon form, I don't drop my current weapon, but I do manage to use blade hands and I am doing unarmed combat. So really, I could theoretically go get around a long time without having to unequip this weapon. So it becomes a choice. Do I want to go to the abyss now? Do I think I could survive a trip to the abyss now? And if so, I should definitely unequip this ASAP and take my chances. Or am I so scared of the abyss right now that it's not a good idea? I'm definitely leaning towards saying just ditch it because I don't want the hassle. But, uh, it would also be a bad decision long term. Ah, hell, I'm gonna do it and let the chips fall where they may. Unwield. I did, in fact, get abyssed. Wow, wouldn't you know? Uh, okay. You guys are in for a treat. You get to watch me pay for my stupidity. Uh, let's eat and start running through the abyss. 
Uh, I do have flight and dragon form as possibilities. I do have dex and sea invisibility, so I, I have options. I just really need to pray that I get out of here uh, sooner rather than later, because I won't survive very long in this place. You guys are three in a line. It's a good time to... Oh, you guys corrode, don't you? Shit. Let's go ahead and quickly kill you. Only reason that I'm actually taking the time and energy to attempt to kill these guys is because it's a little bit of reasonable experience, and these guys are not so dangerous that I can't kill them. There we go. I got warped out of the middle of a bad fight into a different area. That worked out. I have reasonable health. Small abominations are small abominations. Storm Dragon Skeleton shouldn't be that scary. Let's go ahead and blade hands and take this guy out. I'm gonna get mutated at the rate I'm going. Um, if I sound overly cheerful, it's because I kind of have this mental thing of I'm dead already, so why bother worrying? Uh, if any of you know whether or not being in a transmutated state decreases the likelihood of being mutated, please let me know at some point. Oh, I'm so glad I have C invisible. Those guys can be a real pain in the neck otherwise. Oh, I switched to protection when I meant to switch to dex. Anyway, the other problem is that I'm getting pretty close to where I have to end this video, so I might have to save my abyss status for later. We'll see. Uh, read the scroll of recharging, and this time we're going to recharge. You know what? We'll do hasting again, because I already have scrolls of teleport, but I don't have scrolls of haste. I don't... I mean, there isn't such a thing. Alrighty. Oh! Okay, that works. I'm way out of the abyss. Considering that I got sent here by a distortion weapon, I'm not exactly feeling cheap about this. Um... Let's go ahead and wield the bow. I'm fairly sure that you can't get distortion on a bow. Okay, we'll ditch it. It's useless to me. Butcher that. Well, that was a nice short trip to the abyss. Just long enough to get a gift from a god that I, again, didn't need. What, my third weapon on an unarmed character? Uh, I'm gonna make a random attempt to dragon form. Oh, wow! Dragon form has become twice as reliable. You guys will now have to face the wrath of a dragon. You trample me, I'll trample you right back. I'll breathe, uh, distortion, not distortion, uh, cleansing flames at you guys. What is it actually called? Uh, whatever my breath is. I'll breathe my breath at you! Yeah! How do you like that? Quite resistant, stealthy, quite fast, uh, average fly speed. Yeah, this is this is good stuff. And now I'm back to being myself. Which again is more than enough for a herd of sheep. Or a sheep herd, if you will. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, oh, that was a bush. Let's try and take it out. Scroll of noise, nothing of note. So in the newest iteration of Crawl, they've done something cool, not with the scroll of noise IRC, but with the, uh, the, the alarm traps. There's a new ability for Vault Guards called Sentinel's Mark that uh, basically makes every enemy in the level aware of your exact current location. And scroll of, uh, and now the trap is the same. The reason that I kind of thrown it off is because this is going to be an epic fight. So let's begin by attempting Dragon Form again. Fail. Fail. Succeed? No, fail. Shoot. And this time that cost me dearly for my mutation status. Let's just go blade hands and finish this thing off now. I'm getting low hit point warnings. I should probably be a little bit more concerned about this. I'm probably getting low hit point warnings because it's a percent of my max HP, which is so high. Because 35 is not very scary for a person in my situation. Again, retransmute. I recognize that at this point I'm virtually guaranteeing that I'm going to get mutated again. I don't really see that I have a choice. Let's cure out of my poison. Close the door. 
and suffer the consequences. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat as much of this as I can because I'm obviously not gonna be carrying all of it. That door isn't gonna last. I should probably be prepared to kill them. Blade hands on. Open. Scissor them to death. Alright. And now, we need to ditch my equipment that is negative, so the elven buckler of mine has to go. Actually, no, it doesn't, because it's still... It may be negative, but it's actually still positive to my shield value. My shield value is still 9. It's slowing me down because it's a buckler, but it's not slowing me down much. And I regularly discard it whenever I'm transmuted anyway. So yeah, why bother? Ooh, new scroll. Probably scroll of verbalization given my luck. No, unholy creation, which is a lot better. Okay. I could technically uh, use my scroll of uh, my potion of remove mutation, cure mutation, to eliminate this 20% uh, whatever thingy, 20% max HP reduction. But I'm a dragon, I'm powerful, I don't see myself needing the extra 20 health that much right now. Um, so I'm going to hold off on, on spending the that, that mutation cure until I have a few more negative mutations on board. Lightning Rod the Hydra, repeatedly. Actually, that was very effective. Huh. All of them die, all are must sacrifice. Uh, meat ration. Ditch the weapon scrolls. And, okay, good, I have a vulnerability scroll now. Uh, ditch life protection ring. It's never going to be more important than what I have on in the foreseeable future. Oh, and if I didn't use sustenance in the labyrinth, I'm not going to use it anywhere else, so we'll ditch that too. Um... Oh, and I'm still carrying this distortion sword? Yeah, forget that. I'm, it's not worth randomly equipping a sword that might send you to the abyss to potentially get a low chance to success blink off. Lightning rod both of you guys. Wow, that actually killed him. On the trap, nice. And that damn near killed him. This isn't going to recharge in time, so we're just going to unequip now so that I'm ready when he gets here. And sack them all. So far, so good. And this small abomination is definitely proving his mettle in combat. There we go. They're all lined up. Got four. It's more than three. Three is my mandatory minimum for a breath attack. Oh, new god gift. It's, again, what, you know what? Let's just, for shits and giggles, realize that he's gifted me one shield, one cloak, and four weapons. And uh, not a single one of them have I wanted. Yeah. Guar was a bit of a dick. Uh, I'm going to ditch the levitation potion because I have both flight and dragon form. So, not sure why I would ever want it. Uh, 20% fail on dragon form. It's getting better and better every day. Uh, when transmutations hits 14, we're going to turn it off and switch to spellcasting again for the reliability increase. Resist mutation is an excellent amulet to have available for swapping to in a high risk situation. Uh, and actually, I don't know why we're still carrying Holy Wrath. That's gonna go. If I came across an abomination, I'd be happier to cut it apart than to 
try and cut it with a sword. <laughs> yeah, I can be surrounded by wolves and just nail them. As long as there's no druids waking up the forest behind me, I'd be good. Sacrifice all of those guys. Extremely strong poison, eh? Get me upstairs. Alright, there we go. You know what occurs to me is my lightning rod probably would work against the forest. No, keep coming for me. Keep coming for me, damn it. Why aren't you lining up for a good shot? You know what? I'll wait one turn. There you go. Now you're in line for a good shot. Missed. Didn't miss. Just keep pulling him back until I'm in a nice choke point. I'm pretty sure I killed the druid before he could wake the forest, which is good. Now they're all dead. Uh, this one I'm gonna butcher and eat. And we'll ditch... Uh, how many wands of draining and digging or whatever do I have? Oh, I have frost and cold, so we'll ditch frost and just keep cold. Unid'd rings uh, and amulets. Let's take care of those now. I neither want protection from warding, nor do I want protection from fire as a ring. So those can both go. Uh, my current disintegration ring has six charges, which is plenty. More than I will likely ever use this game, considering I have two dig ones. It's going to be important not to die here, so I'm going to go heroism plus dex, uh, plus blade hands, just so that I can cut through these blink frogs the moment they approach, instead of you know, needing to be next to them for several turns in a row, but then just blinking away. And sure enough, I was able to destroy the majority of them. Okay, that's pretty darn clear. What is... how, how do you do the... I'm, I'm trying to remember what the... control X, that's what it is. This is all of the different stuff that's currently available on the screen, nothing I want. It's faster than actually trying to go and piece through that pile. <sighs> wow, I literally have the only buckler in the entire game so far. Ditch the throwing net. What am I carrying all this wolf flesh for? Ditch the wolf flesh. Beat up all of the wolves. Sack them and keep moving. Notice that I just casually turned on uh, blade hands again because I know that the cost is trivial. Hunger cost is trivial. When you're holding as many chunks as I am. Blade hands! Uh, it's wonderful to clear the lair with a level 5 spell. Punch you to death, sack your body, and that is... Alright, Lair is complete, um, almost. Lair is basically complete at this point. Uh, next up is going to be, I don't know, we'll see where I go from here. Um, one thing's for sure, I need to go back to the top of the lair and ditch a whole bunch of stuff so for weight purposes. Presumably mostly just all the food that I'm carrying with me, since I have so much weight invested in just that. Find me the exit to the lair, would you be a doll? Thank you and ditch three, no, 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 ditch four bread rations, four meat rations, tw 12 grapes, hell, ditch all the grapes. Yeah, ditch all the grapes. I have honeycombs. They're much better for small food consumption. Um, scroll of vulnerability is a must. Uh, let's leave behind one blink scroll and one teleport scroll for tactical purposes. Uh, restore abilities is, a not, is mostly strategic for me, not tactical, so I will leave behind half of them, as well as one mite uh, po potion just to make the numbers even, three curings, uh, and yeah, that should about do it. The Book of Fire I will leave behind. Um, I will learn Ignite Poison in the end because I don't have anything better for that s for, to do with my four to do. Uh, f crocodile flesh is rotting, we'll ditch it. I don't need my Spear of Venom anymore, 
but I'm hanging on to it anyway. I definitely don't want basic darts anymore, so I'll ditch those for sure. And uh, that's a fairly good trimming of the fat, I guess. I have a drain wand that's going to be ditched eventually, but until then it has three shots left. And this lightning rod I've already made fairly good use of. Speaking of which, have I missed any rods or staffs? Uh, I have not. Maybe I have. Apparently there's a staff of summoning in Orc 4. And that's it, just the staff of summoning. Okay. Alright, well, thank you all for watching. Uh, next time I will either continue the main dungeon or pick a lair branch probably, so I will see you guys next time.